Yes, we are back with Queen's Wednesday on Y in the morning. I go by the name of By Moses or it's by more on every social media platform. Special thanks to Hilda Wathithi and uh, Joy Mushache for always starting our Wednesday on a laughing note. If you happen to interact with some videos that you think would go viral or break the views, just send them to us on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. So today on Strength of a Woman, it's about that time, we have amazing women uh, in studio with me. Or let me just call them queens and uh, yes they're passionate about the less fortunate in society and uh, they're from the light uh, for autism kenya uh, we have the chairperson and we have miss autism kenya as well i'll let them introduce themselves so we can carry on okay thank you so mm -hmm. much uh, so my name is Faith Nakoya Musumba. Mm -hmm. I'm the chairperson of the Light of Autism Committee, which is organizing two events on April. Mm -hmm. So the first event is a heart to heart talk, and the second one is Light Mr. and Miss Autism Kenya. Right. So they're both happening on 20th April, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'd encourage all of you to buy tickets, mm -hmm. which are coming out tomorrow. If you want to buy tickets, visit our website at lightofautismkenya.org. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll be talking about the event, and uh, thank you very much for coming through to Y in the morning. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, Miss Autism Kenya. My name is Kelly Kinothia. Mm -hmm. I'm the reigning Miss Autism Kenya. Mm -hmm. I am glad to be part of uh, the Autism Society because mm -hmm. um, it's through autism that you learn a lot of things, how mm -hmm. to be patient, how to be loving, how to embrace everything that comes with autism as a condition, and right. I'm glad to serve. Mm -hmm. I majorly act as an autism ambassador, basically, mm -hmm. um, Focusing on projects that will cover the children living with autism or mm -hmm. other individuals living with autism generally. Mm -hmm. So I basically champion for their rights, champion for their projects, champion mm -hmm. for their therapy uh, sessions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice one. So uh, before we can carry on, uh, if I was to define autism, I'll use the dictionary definition. But uh, being that you've worked with people with autism and you've got to interact with maybe their parents and got to explain to some of their parents who are, mm -hmm. who some did they even go to school? Mm -hmm. How can you define this to a layman? Uh -huh, a layman. So mm -hmm. I'd just say it that uh, I'd define autism as a broad range mm -hmm. of brain disorders mm -hmm. that affects one's ability to interact and mm -hmm. communicate with others. That's mm -hmm. the simplest I think I can put it. Because uh -huh. autism itself, it cannot be simplified. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the full name of autism is autism spectrum disorder. Uh -huh. It's so broad, it's mm -hmm. so diverse. Two people That's with autism. That's uh, the need for the word spectrum. Yes. Right. Yeah, so it's uh, even the conditions, it's kind of difficult to describe the symptoms because one person with autism can differ from another person with autism. Mm -hmm. Yes. That so each spectrum. person is special? Yes. All right, you guys are so passionate about uh, uh, people with special needs and inclusive development. Yes. All right. So maybe you can make me understand what is this inclusive development? Because uh, people have been sidelined. Everybody is complaining. Uh, the the girls or the queens are saying, "No, we have been sidelined." Uh, these people are saying, "We have been sidelined." What yeah. is this inclusive development? Okay, so I'll put inclusive development where you just incorporate everyone, simply mm -hmm. absorbing them in the society mm -hmm. and ensuring that they have equal access to mm -hmm. everything and to every resource. Mm -hmm. Because basically, like when you focus on people living with autism, mm -hmm. they have special needs that need to be met in a special way, mm -hmm. and that requires special attention. Mm -hmm. And um, for people living with autism, they have a repetitive behavior, mm -hmm. they have um, a behavior that is considered um, not normal mm -hmm. according to us who are neurotypicals. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll say inclusive de development is all about incorporating everyone mm -hmm. and ensuring that they access everything mm -hmm. at the right time and just like any other normal individual because mm -hmm. what I try to embrace and also champion about mm -hmm. is that we should include everyone. We shouldn't include people living with autism just because they have a normal uh, uh, a condition. Mm -hmm. We should actually ensure that they are all they access. They have access to education. Mm -hmm. They have access to sports. They mm -hmm. can do things. Especially people with autism are so talented. Mm -hmm. They can even draw. They can make paintings. Mm -hmm. So they shouldn't be excluded just because they have. They don't have um, a normal condition just like us people. Right. So it's all about championing for their rights and also ensuring that they get access to whatever us guys get access to. All right. Uh, early childhood education mm -hmm. is very expensive. Yes. Especially if you want that uh, A1 quality. So mm -hmm. when uh, a mom is told you your kid is suffering from autism, the mm -hmm. first question she's going to ask, can, 
My child go to school with other kids. Is it possible? Okay, so there's different levels of autism, right? Mm -hmm. There's high functioning autism and then there's low functioning autism. So people with high functioning autism, they are able to learn uh, quite well in normal schools, in the average schools. And therefore, I would say for a high functioning autistic person, it would be much easier for them to get into a normal education system. However, someone with low functioning autism is gonna be a bit more difficult. They're gonna need uh, therapy to help them uh, get integrated into the average education system. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so like I said, it's a broad range. We cannot mm -hmm. just say just because you have autism automatically, all of you are the same mm -hmm. and all of you can be included or can be, uh, they need intervention uh, before they enter in, uh, into education. All right, so uh, I'm trying to understand it's a spectrum yes. as you say. Yeah. So some of them it affects them. I hear some of them can't even speak. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some of them can't communicate. True. Some of them can't hang out with people. Mm -hmm. Some of them can do things normally. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, what is this thing you tell a mom mm -hmm. who's having such a baby? Okay, so the symptoms of autism can actually be identified as early as 18 months. Mm -hmm. Usually a third of all autistic people are nonverbal. So mm -hmm. if you notice that your child is not speaking, it's taking too long to mm -hmm learn how to speak, mm -hmm. then perhaps you should go and, and see a therapist and get mm -hmm. the child diagnosed. Perhaps mm -hmm. it could be just a late speech development mm -hmm. or perhaps it it's could be autism. It's not necessarily autism. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. So it's best to actually seek out help from a therapist to mm -hmm. get an accurate diagnosis. Right. Yes. You might also notice some uh, other symptoms such as uh, difficulty expressing their emotions mm -hmm. or difficulty understanding uh, people's gestures. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm angry, I will show you that I'm angry with a frown, mm -hmm. but with a child with autism, autism you might have to tell them I am angry mm -hmm. for that child to understand oh she is angry mm -hmm. so if you notice that your child is having difficulty with uh, things like that communication mm -hmm. if it's verbal or nonverbal then perhaps you should get them diagnosed mm -hmm. however it's best not to assume anything mm -hmm. always seek a therapist always before. seek a therapist yes. Always seek a therapist. Yes. But educating them is quite a challenge. Yes, it's true. It's quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. They need uh, some special uh, kind of attention. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, I'm trying to understand. I'm, I'm told uh, people with autism uh, have very special talents. Yeah. Some of them we yeah, might never indeed. support. Mm -hmm. Some of them cannot talk to us and tell yeah. us how they see things. Yes. All right. So is it for each and every person suffering from autism, they are special in a different way? Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone is special in different ways, uh -huh. regardless uh -huh. of whether you have autism or mm -hmm. not. Yeah, so like I said, autism is a broad range of mm -hmm. uh, brain disorders. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so each of them has their own strengths in mm -hmm. different areas. Some of them are really good in music. Did you know that Mozart was autistic? Yes, I heard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you know Albert Einstein also had autism? Yes, I heard. Two different talents. Mm -hmm. Music, one, one's a physicist, one's a uh, musician. Mm -hmm. So you can see that they and have The list strength. is endless, by the way. Yeah, we have so many endless. successful people who are suffering from this. Awesome. I don't want to say suffering, who are living with this condition. Yeah. Yes. All right. So uh, how did you uh, find a passion in this particular line uh, oh. of uh, special needs? Yes. Okay, so the way I found out about autism generally mm -hmm. was last year, early mm -hmm. last year. I saw this pageant, mm -hmm. it was called Light Miss and Miss Autism Kenya. At that time I was not the chairperson. Mm -hmm. Then I was shocked because it was basically shock. Mm -hmm. I had never known that there were that many cases of of autism in Kenya. I, mm -hmm. In my mind, I thought it was, uh, I, I was quite ignorant in those days. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a white person's disease. I thought maybe mm -hmm. there were five people in Kenya who and had autism. And we assume so much. I know. Yeah. When it comes to depression, post-traumatic stress, exactly. autism, we assume it's a Western thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with that shock, I was, I realized that I'm part of the problem. The fact that I thought that I was so enlightened, I've mm -hmm. always considered myself enlightened. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was so enlightened. An un enlightened person like me is not aware of this condition. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to bring these people into the light. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem, the biggest challenge that these people face, people with autism face, is lack of awareness. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know the problem exists, how are you going to seek a solution? Mm -hmm. You're never going to try and f uh, seek a solution for a, pro a problem that you don't know exists. So you need to understand the, the problem first. Yeah. How did you get yourself in this, uh, in this line? OK, so um, my friend, it was early last year, and mm -hmm. my friend uh, just inboxed me on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, sending a poster about the event. 
and apparently there were auditions going on so mm -hmm. he was like hey Kelly you model so maybe you can try this out mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute. Okay, it was at a moment where I had decided I'm no longer doing pageants again. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh. So you had always been doing pageants? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So I was like, ah, okay, let me see how it goes. Mm -hmm. So now, it's being light, Mr. and Miss Autism. I definitely had to research about autism before even contacting the person mm -hmm. so that I can tell them that I'm interested in participating in the pageant. Mm -hmm. So I came to learn that it's a unique condition but mm -hmm. then again it's affecting most of the people in the society only mm -hmm. that people don't know that their children are living with autism mm -hmm. because once um, a parent sees a kid like they're not f performing normally mm -hmm. they tend to assume oh, maybe the kid is just disabled mm -hmm. they don't um, seek to know what the problem is mm -hmm. they just keep them in the house and mm -hmm. they just hide them so that because um, for children living with disability, for mm -hmm. any individual living with disability, the society is so corrupted uh -huh. to think that it's it's form of a bad spe bad spell. Yes, there's a lot of stigma around. Yeah, that. there's a lot of stigma around, so they don't bring out their kids. Mm -hmm. and you might be keeping the next Einstein in the house. Yeah, or yes. the next Mozart. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to work with these kids, and mm -hmm. we need to always seek medical attention yeah. sure. when we notice something yeah. different. Yes. So we have pictures on screen right here, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you can share with me. It's a it's a slideshow, I think. Yeah. You can share with me what was going on here. Okay, so this is one of the, she was one of the guests of honors. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's a person with a special needs. Mm -hmm. Autism is not a disability, by the way, it's mm -hmm. a difference. Uh -huh. So it all falls under special needs. Mm -hmm. So we invited her to talk about special needs mm -hmm. and the need to bring these people into the light, mm -hmm. bring them, normalize the con these conditions, bring them into society. I see Miss Autism somewhere in the background there. Yeah. Yes. Number 18, <laughs> contestant number 18. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So that was um, before for the announcing of the final winner mm -hmm. and now that was after we were crowned mm -hmm. yes that is yeah. the light of autism her name is batila waizara uh, so you had three winners yes yeah. so miss autism kenya mm -hmm. light of autism mm -hmm. and uh mr autism. autism mr autism yeah. yeah all right so miss miss autism and mr autism you can break that down for me and then you can break down light of autism for me yes yeah. so the main okay the the main winner for this event mm -hmm. is the light of autism. Mm -hmm. This person has to have autism. Mm -hmm. They're the ambassador for autism. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest challenges we've seen in Kenya uh, mm -hmm. concerning the conditions is that this people with autism don't have someone they can look up to. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them that ambassador, someone they mm -hmm. can you know put on a pedestal and look up to and say, hey, if she can be mm -hmm. that beautiful and she can do great things, then mm -hmm. so can I. Mm -hmm. So that is the main ambassador. And she speaks uh, freely about it. Okay, so most people with autism mm -hmm. are, uh, let's see, they're nonverbal. Oh, non so she's not very able to articulate herself, but mm -hmm. she, she has some capability. Mm -hmm. Now, you've uh, identified Can a she problem. Write? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now that the fact that you've identified uh, the problem of nonverbalness, mm -hmm. uh, that's why we have Miss Autism and Mr. Autism. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to help the light. Mm -hmm. They're like her assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're supposed to help the light of autism mm -hmm. uh, utilize the platform opt in an optimal way. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How has it been working with Miss Autism, Kenya? Well, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. And one, you had to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. You had always to be on the go, like. Mm -hmm. researching about autism because mm -hmm. you can't be an ambassador without mm -hmm. knowing and understanding mm -hmm. the root cause of everything. So um, it was basically uh, you research and I can say it's also fun and interesting because mm -hmm. you get to interact with people you're not used to interacting with mm -hmm. and also it takes a lot of patience to actually understand because these people at times they they have meltdowns, they have mm -hmm. tantrums, so you have to understand, like you really have to be patient. Mm -hmm. I'll say autism is all about having patience, all mm -hmm. about understanding and knowing that it's different for every child. Being able to communicate with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're supposed to, and being able to observe, mm -hmm. because... Observation is very key. It's really key, yeah, because right. they'll do something and you're like, oh, okay, you're trying to understand what they're trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. So, but it's been an awesome experience. It's, it's still an, an awesome, awesome experience. experience. Yeah. I was Mr. Autism, like. <laughs> uh, Tall. It's not yet to speak, so please don't of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like that. I like that. Right, what did you guys see in her for her to win this crown? 
Yeah, so she was very inquisitive. And then uh, mm. she had found out about autism, I think, a month before she actually joined the pageant. Mm -hmm. Yet she had learned so much. It showed that she was eager to learn mm -hmm. about the condition. Mm -hmm. And then immediately after, she also seemed quite active, right? Mm -hmm. So after the event, she was able to help us launch a project mm -hmm. through Radiators Foundation, which is one mm -hmm. of our, our partnering organizations. Mm -hmm. Yes, so she was able to launch the Kajado therapy project mm -hmm. through which we provide free therapy services to children with autism as mm -hmm. well as other special needs in Kajado. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we, we noticed that All she right. has the interest. She has the interest yeah. and she's doing amazing. Yes. All right. Uh, the big question is always uh, uh, the leaders that we elect, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. they're elected uh, not to represent the, ma the majority. Mm -hmm. Their biggest role is to defend the rights of the oppressed and the week. Mm. Yes. How is the government coming in? Well, the government has, okay, mm. uh, I don't want to over, be overly critical and uh -huh. jump on the bandwagon of saying the government has not done enough. But, uh, mm -hmm. okay, so the government opened uh, a bunch of special needs schools, including one called Treeside. Mm -hmm. Treeside is uh, in Kasarani. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but mm -hmm. it's in Kasarani. It deals with a broad range of special needs, including autism. However, you find that they have challenges in the sense that some of the teachers are not paid for a duration as, lo as long as uh, six months. So there, on that aspect, the government could improve. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot more could be done. I'm not saying they mm -hmm. haven't done anything. They have done something. Mm -hmm. But we should not be satisfied with what we have right now. We should ask for a lot more because these people deserve a lot more. Mm -hmm. And one of the issues I think, uh, one of the reasons I think the government has not done as much as it could mm -hmm. is because of the lack of awareness amongst politicians as well as constituencies. Mm -hmm. If constituencies don't know what autism is, how mm -hmm. are they going to demand for more inclusion? Uh, mm -hmm. They, they're not going to do that. So education is yes. very key. Awareness. Awareness. Yes. So we need to educate the people yes. who are not living with autism first. Yes. And we also need to include the people who are living with autism into the education system. Yeah. Indeed. Very important. Mm -hmm. I hope you're listening. Uh, <laughs> this years of education, this years of home affairs, if it exists nowadays. Uh, but uh, we need to include, include, include. Yes. That is the word. Yes. Light of Autism Kenya, the Autism Society of Kenya, how are the two related? So the Autism Society of Kenya is just one of our, let's say, friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they attend our events and we attend their events. Mm -hmm. We're all a network mm -hmm. of special needs mm -hmm. organizations. Right. So Light of Autism Kenya is not an independent organization by itself. Mm -hmm. It's a, I'd like to call it a movement mm -hmm. that was formed by two major organizations. Mm -hmm. The first one is Step Up for Autism, mm -hmm. which is based both in America and mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is a youth-based organization called Ready Aiders Foundation. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's those two organizations that form Light of Autism. Mm -hmm. And then we have those partners such as the Kenya Institute of Special Needs, Autism Society of Kenya. Yes, so we have a, a network mm -hmm. of organizations that deal with the same things and we cooperate with one another. Another one is the Differently Talented Society of mm -hmm. Kenya. You have them <laughs> off the <laughs> top like this, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. those are, they're quite friends. They're mm -hmm. quite uh, close to us, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, you have a background in IR, yes. international relations. Mm -hmm. You have a background in public health. Yes. So uh, you directly have a role to play in this, right? Yeah. Uh, you also have a role to play in this because uh, they need that yes. uh, relation and PR and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I was reading or I was talking to some people who were pro this multi, uh, what is it called? Mat multidisciplinary approach yeah. to this Health, health problems. Yes. So maybe somebody's watching out there mm -hmm. is an engineer somewhere and is like, how can I help? Mm -hmm. Somebody's watching out there is a farmer somewhere is saying, how can I, I help? help? What yeah. is my role in this? Mm -hmm. How would you talk to such a person? Somebody who is, whose background is not directly related to health mm -hmm. or IR or something similar or close to this. Special needs, I find special needs to be quite broad. Mm -hmm. Almost anyone can get involved. Mm -hmm. I, if you consider this, um, let's see, 
autism, mm -hmm. it's very close to children because mm -hmm. you see it mostly affects children and it's, uh, it's best to detect it when you're a child mm -hmm. so you can have early intervention and you can grow up into a successful mm -hmm. uh, functioning adult. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the proper care that you deserve, mm -hmm. then as, a, as an adult you'll be quite, uh, you won't fit into society quite well. Mm -hmm. So it's a children's issue mm -hmm. and a children's issue is a woman's issue. Mm -hmm. and, and a woman's issue is, is a societal a, yes. issue. <laughs> so uh -huh. it's very broad uh -huh. and with public health, mm -hmm. Autism is very clearly a health issue. Mm -hmm. And then with international relations, we need to form not only networks within our country, mm -hmm. but also outside our country with mm -hmm. Africa and with mm -hmm. the whole world. In, uh, from 22nd to 27th April, mm -hmm. we're having the Pan-African uh, Congress mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. autism. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's one of the areas in which international relations actually really applies here. Right. And as an, art, as, a, uh, as an engineer, or let's say an architect, mm -hmm. Okay, one of the biggest challenges, I have a friend with disability, her name is Regina Mugure. Mm -hmm. Yes, so one of the biggest challenges with she faces is the way buildings are structured. Mm -hmm. Some people with autism and other disability mm -hmm. or special needs, mm -hmm. they are not able to function well. They don't have motor uh, skills. Mm -hmm. So they ha they need wheelchairs and things uh, like that. Yes, uh, but the buildings are not very are disability not for yeah, friendly. Okay. The stairs everywhere. Uh -huh. In fact, one of the we went to this very fancy restaurant. I don't want to mention its name, uh -huh. but there's no lift or anything. So we had to eat outside. Mm -hmm. It's just and there's lack of inclusion right. in every aspect. The escalators are not for wheelchairs. Yes. Uh, so as an engineer, you can include these people in your designs. Yes. There's so many ways you can you can you can Everywhere. you can involve yourself yes. in solving this problem. Yes. All right. Uh, as a student of public health, yeah. Miss Autism Kenya, uh, there's so much uh, pressure on you right now. There's so much spotlight on you. Yeah if I'm not wrong. Yes. All right, how are you dealing with it? Because people will come to you and ask you so many questions. Uh, how, do you, how do you deal with all this pressure? Okay, first and foremost is to understand that this is my journey mm -hmm. and I have goals mm -hmm. that I need to meet. And so I tend to ignore every outward pressure mm -hmm. and deal with myself first because mm -hmm. I have because my number one priority is to help people living with autism. Mm -hmm. So I have to focus on them first before mm -hmm. even um, listening to what everyone is saying out mm -hmm. there. Uh, definitely there are so lots of... So you cut it all out first. Yeah, you cut it focus all... Focus on this thing that you're passionate about. Yes. And then listen. Yeah, because mm -hmm. th they come first. Mm -hmm. There's no other point where the outward pressure will come first before mm -hmm. people living with autism. Mm -hmm. Because that's why I'm here because uh -huh. I'm representing them. Uh -huh. So they need to be on my first list. Uh -huh. And then again, I also take suggestions. Mm -hmm. Definitely someone will hit me up on Instagram. Hey, mm -hmm. can you do this? I'll definitely look if it's viable and if it's relevant to my course. And then definitely I'll take it up. All right. Yeah. So many people, uh, as a matter of fact, more than half the population of this country mm -hmm. have never spent a single cent or a single minute to give back. What should you tell such people? What is the importance of giving back? Okay, I'll say giving back has a joy that, okay, it brings joy uh -huh. itself. Uh -huh. Just when you know you're giving something to someone who doesn't even know you, uh -huh. someone who wouldn't even repay you, like it gives you a sense of joy and uh -huh. you feel so responsible at that moment. Uh -huh. And on the other hand, it's good to know that when you help, uh -huh you receive in greater portions. Mm -hmm. So it's better if you helped. And the fact that you've been blessed, even mm -hmm. with that little thing that you've been blessed mm -hmm. with, it's good to give back because you're helping someone somewhere who has who needs help but mm -hmm. doesn't have access to resources mm -hmm. or whatever you're offering. Even having two limbs and two hands and life is a blessing. Yeah, yeah, it's a blessing. So you can share that with somebody who doesn't have the same. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Wise words from Miss Autism Kenya. All right, we can focus on the events now. Uh, since uh, it's the highlight of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, you have two events. Yes. Break them down for us and now we can get involved. Okay, so like I said, there's mm -hmm. Step Up for Autism mm -hmm. and Ready Aiders Foundation. Mm -hmm. They came together to create the Light of Autism Committee, right? Movement mm -hmm. Committee. Yeah, and the, the committee has two main events. Mm -hmm. There's the Heart to Heart Talk and there's the Light Miss and Miss Autism Kenya mm -hmm. 2019 pageant. Mm -hmm. Yes, so both events are taking place on 20th April in mm -hmm. Sportsview Kasarani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the entry fee for both events 
is 500. However, a ticket to one event will guarantee you entry to the other event. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the first event is the Heart to Heart Talk. It will take place in the afternoon from 2 to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Heart to Heart Talk will basically, it's a panelist discussion mm -hmm. in which uh, parents and guardians of people with autism come and they're educated on how, they're given the tools on how to cope with the condition, on how to, what to feed their children, because you know people with autism have a different, they need a different diet mm -hmm. than us neurotypicals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it just gives them tips, advice, and basically counseling, because there's also the stigma, which can be quite hard mm -hmm. to deal with alone. Mm -hmm. So we also just counsel them in the heart to heart talk. Mm -hmm. So the moms need counseling as well. Yes. And the kids also need to be taken through therapy. Yeah. What about the dads? Yeah, I also wanted to <laughs> say the dads. Though you'll find that according to how our society has structured things, mm -hmm. uh, children are considered the mothers, and then mm -hmm. the father goes out in the public uh, sphere of, of life, mm -hmm. goes out and uh, is a breadwinner and all mm -hmm. that. That's how society is still structured. Mm -hmm. and so that's as we that. work uh, to uh, build the society in a different direction, mm -hmm. you're focusing on what matters the most right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get your point. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you'll find that most people who even, we have a step up for autism, mm -hmm. has a therapy center in, Ma in Mathare, mm -hmm. you'll find that most people who bring children mm -hmm. to therapy mm -hmm. are women. Mm -hmm. They're the yeah. mothers. Mm -hmm. So sadly, that's the case. However, mm -hmm. we don't discriminate and say women only, women mm -hmm. and children only. No, even fathers can come. Mm -hmm. We invite everyone. Even youth can come. We also, mm -hmm. we're really focusing on the youth because uh, we are future parents. Mm -hmm. You never know what could happen and it's best to always be prepared. Mm -hmm. You also, not necessarily <laughs> to you, but also to your friend or to someone else you know. All right. Yeah, so that's the heart to heart. So talk. The d uh, give me the dates, uh, the times, and uh, the venues. Yes, yeah, so like I said, uh, mm. the date, 20th April, 2019, mm -hmm. that's this year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the Heart to Heart Talk, it'll take place in the afternoon mm -hmm. from 2 to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Same day? Yes. 20th April? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So Heart to Heart Talk, in 2 to 5. 2 to 5, Heart yeah. to Heart Talk? Yeah, uh -huh. with a charge of 500. The charge of 500, Heart yeah. to Heart Talk, all right? Yes. Uh, Sports so View Kasarani? Yes. All right. All right. Later on in the in the evening? In the evening, from 6 to 10 p.m., mm -hmm. we have the Light Mr. and Miss Autism pageant. Uh -huh. Now, this is just fun. It's entertainment. We're raising awareness through entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's not badgering you. It's not preachy. Mm -hmm. It's fun. But at the same time, you're learning about autism. Mm -hmm. yes. No badgering, no <laughs> preachy. <laughs> yes. It's just it's <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we have talked about the moms. We have talked about the dads. We have talked yes. about the society. Mm -hmm. We are forgetting the siblings, mm -hmm. the people who relate with these kids on a daily uh, all the time, the people were there to defend them in case somebody is trying to act a fool somewhere. Mm. So how, what would you tell somebody who has a sister or a brother who's living with autism? How can they approach this particular situation? Okay, first Some tips. Thing, yeah, Two first and foremost mm -hmm. is acceptance. Mm -hmm. You have to accept that, yes, I have mm -hmm. a sibling who is living with autism, mm -hmm. and the best way you can show support to this person mm -hmm. is accepting them and understanding that this is their journey. Mm -hmm. They'll have different experiences, mm -hmm. and the only way you can be there for them is by embracing them as they are. Mm -hmm. Don't stigmatize them, because mm -hmm. if you stigmatize them and you're the sibling, what mm -hmm. will happen to the society right. out there? will always be there to defend them. Yeah, uh -huh. always be there to defend them. Take them uh -huh. for therapy sessions. Take uh -huh. them to enjoy the fun that is out there, because uh -huh. at the end of the day how you treat them is what will matter mm -hmm. and how you actually relate with them mm -hmm. so i'll say acceptance in a nutshell acceptance, acceptance in a nutshell yes and we should not let it cross over to pt to yeah. the other side which is pt because nobody likes pt anyway yeah you should people just like to be accepted mm -hmm. uh, the way they are Thank you very much for coming through to Y in the morning and thank you very much for what you're doing to the society at large. Your social media handles so mm -hmm. people can check you and the organizational social media handles as well. Mm -hmm. We'll start with you, Miss. Mm -hmm. Your okay. camera is number four. Okay, you mm -hmm. can find me on Instagram mm -hmm. at Kelly underscore Kinuthia. Mm -hmm. Also on Facebook, Kelly Kinuthia. Mm -hmm. And on Twitter, at Kelly Kinuthia. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate you. All right, so I'm going to start with the uh, uh, movements. Mm -hmm. Okay, so find us at lightofautismkenya.org. You mm -hmm. can buy tickets to our events there. Mm -hmm. Also follow us on Facebook at Light Mr. and Miss Autism Kenya. Mm -hmm. And for my personal Instagram, you can find me at nico.faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Nico Faith. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for coming. We appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. And keep doing what you're doing uh, for you. the kids with autism and the society at large. We appreciate you. you. This has been Strength of a Woman, and we had...
amazing women who, are, who have a passion for inclusive development. If you're doing something special for the society as well, white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Slide into our DM, we'll consider and then get you here to give you a few minutes of fame and just get to share your story and get to share with the world some knowledge like they shared with me uh, this morning.